Today we're going to teach you how to do a data log with your Edge Insight CTS3. This is brand new, just came out this week. This is um, uh, first week of May 2020. And we wanted to show you how to do this data log. Now we're going to show you how to do all of the downloading of the data viewer on the desktop, and how to view your logs and everything, but we want to start with the truck portion of this. now. When you're doing a data log, and you can look at our other videos for Edge's Insight CTS3, you'll notice that there's three different gauge uh, configurations that you can do there that you can preset for whatever you want them to. When you're doing a data log, I suggest you get as much data as you can, and if you're looking for a certain uh, parameter of data or something uh, that you're, what, that's going on with your truck that either your tuner's looking for or that you're looking for, um, I would suggest to use this screen that has the 16 different PIDs on it because you can select a lot of different data there and then you can get as much information about what you're looking for uh, as you can from this screen. So the screen that you choose, it has different parameters on it, is relative to how much data you're gonna collect and what's gonna show back up on the data viewer. So let's just show you an example how to do it here. So to start our recording, what we do is we just pull down and there'll be a red recording button here. We just touch it. You'll see the recording light will come on. And what we'll do is we'll just do a little short little jaunt here and just kind of go through the gears. We are on a closed course here, so uh, uh, safety is the utmost importance. Try not to shake at him to death. So, yeah, so, so let's say you're looking for something uh, really easy. Let's say uh, third gear of your truck, as soon as you stomp it, it, it falls on its face. Well, that's data that you're going to want to collect uh, and you're going to want to see it. So, uh, go through, recreate your issue. And then you've got a recording of it. So to stop the recording, pull it down, hit the stop button, and you're good to go. It'll ask you if you want to save the recording. Yes, you do. And save it with whatever log name you want to. And there you go. All right, we got our log done. Now let's take it back and look at it on the computer. All right, just want to talk just a little bit about, about what to do before we uh, roll over to screen time here. So you want to power down the truck, let the unit power down in the truck and then remove it from the truck, uh, bring it in and you're going to want to download your uh, data from, uh, from this head unit and you're going to be viewing it on your home computer, laptop, whatever it, it may be. Uh, now, just want to talk uh, just a little bit here about this cord that uh, Edge sends you. Now, this is Wi-Fi updatable, which is a great feature of the new CTS3, but you can also use this cord to download it from the internet. Um, you know, just do your normal everyday downloads on it. That's just a, you know, just something we've always been doing. So you can still do it this way. But this cord is also for uh, being able to extract the data from this head unit for your data viewer to be able to look at your logs and whatnot. So this little cord that comes inside of the Edge Insight CTS3 kit, don't throw this away. You're going to need it. Just want to show you guys now how to download everything that you need to be able to uh, look at your data logs. So what you want to do is you want to come to Edge's website, which is edgeproducts.com. Excuse me, got people calling me that shouldn't be. You go to edgeproducts.com. This is where you're going to download the program data viewer uh, for the Insight CTS. So you go over and you go to the updates tab right here. Click on updates. Scroll down to the bottom of updates and data viewer software right here. You just hit download data viewer software. I've already got this, so you just want to download this and then follow all the instructions on the screen. It will give you an executable file. Uh, once the executable file comes up, you run the executable file, then you've got uh, the data viewer. Uh, it will place it out onto your desktop right here. So it's kind of got the Diablo symbol to it, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and hook our uh, Insight CTS3 up and it can just go into any of your OBD2 or any of your USB plugs here. Hope the mic's catching that out. It can, catch it. it can go into any of your USB plugs. All right. And then once the device boots up, we'll go ahead and go into Data Viewer. 
Once we go into Data Viewer, we click the Open Logs book. You just heard it chime in so the computer recognized it. Go into the Open Logs book. Open a saved log. And this should pull up the CTS as one of these. So here's the CTS drive. So you double click the CTS and then go to Logs. And then here was our log that we had inside of the, the cab of the truck here. It's a 9201101. You can remember that from when we were in there in the truck. So now we just double click the the uh, uh, the document or double click on the, t the text document. And now you've got your different PIDs that you can look at here. You can look at desired rail pressure, pulse width, so on. So we'll look at our uh, desired rail pressure, your injection timing, we can put load in here and you can see that it it maps all of those different things, SAE, uh, speed, as far as that goes. So you can look inside of the log itself, you can uh, roll through the log in real time, just like this by moving forward on your cursor. And then these uh, different PIDs are, are uh, are all of the different uh, PIDs that you can select there to look at. So if we had a problem with uh, rail pressure dropping off at you know 100% throttle, we'd get that right here inside of the log. We could look at it and compare it. But this data set right here is good for us just to be able to see what our speed was, map was, uh, injection timing, uh, pulse width is in here as well. We can put RPM in here. You can put a bunch of different channels in so you can get a lot of different data to be able to look at, to kind of look at it and say, okay, uh, I know that at 100% throttle or uh, remember at 100% throttle, we had a fuel uh, uh, rail pressure started lock, uh, falling off. You can look at that in, inside of here and, and know what that was. So that is looking at the features for the data viewer for the edge insight cts3 when you're done with this now if you want to save the log you can save it to the desktop uh, you can extract the log from the file that we looked at there so you would just go back out here to uh, the logs file you can delete it if you wanted to uh, and get rid of it save some some headspace on the drive and yeah there you go so now you know how to view a log with your Insight CTS3. Neat little feature of it. You can see a lot of different stuff right there when laid out that way. But yeah, a lot of different, a lot of different parameters that you can look at inside of there. Just really good stuff. Helps you to learn your truck, guys, and also to be able to uh, diagnose your truck. Thanks for watching.